So here we are, we want to create with pill our uh, um, little function to create a flag. If you want to install uh, pill, let's go in the command line and do pip install pillow. Uh, af after you've done this, go into your program, go in Sublime or any other text editor and from pill import image. Now we want to create an image that is called, for example, well, just image, and we want to make image dot uh, new. Uh, the RGB color, we want it in color, and then we want to create the width and height, and let's say um, 300 and 100 of, so 300 is the width and 100 is the height, so and the color then. Let's start with red, right? Let's like the Italian flag, then let's show this image so that we can see it. And there it is. This is our flag. Now we are going to put other two colors in this flag. Let's copy this two times and let's call this layer 1 and layer 2 because we are going to put these two into onto the first one and white color let it start from uh, 100 the second color let it start from 200 and the same width and this will be this will be white and this will be green if we want to um, these are three different image but we want to just to put this, this second and the third image above the first one so let's paste image paste the the first layer so the layer one onto this one and starting from uh, I think 100 and at the zero at the top of of the image and this will be let's see the result here it is it is in the middle now we want to put on the right the second image so let's copy this and paste the layer 2 from 200 and let's see here it is our Italian flag now we want to generalize this code to abstract this code and make it more usable so let's do a function called flag and let's put the color here, the width of, uh, of 100 and the height of 100 but we will change these things so we are going to make uh, the first color we call it color 1, the second color 2, the, the third color 3 and we are going to make like taking from C C will be a string and we are going to split the string in three so that the first color goes here, the second goes here, and the third goes here. Let's see how it works. Let's call this function and let's put the, our color that will be uh, like before red, white, and green. And let's change this one into C1, C2, and C3. Let's see if it it is the same like before and it is. But now we got uh, very nice things. If you want to change this color in blue for example we got a different uh, flag so we can do that but we also want to change the sides. So the first one is the width. This is the three times the other two. So and the height, the height is the same, it's the same and it's the same. Now let's see, here is our flag, but if we want to change the width and height, we just can put here, for example, 250. And there it is, it is changed. And there is a little problem here because we get a change also here the width and here the width for two because it is relative now not absolute so here it is 
and let's change this one in gold let's call this one in in pink and let's see our new flag let's change this and here is the sides are changed but they are always one third one third and one third and uh, this is a way to abstract a little bit our code we could also make other different things to uh, make it more suitable for even other um, kind of flex putting some images in here but it will be a little more complicated and this is just an example thank you